Today's video is gonna be a fun one. To start today's project, I drilled a large hole in a piece of plywood and then cut it to shape on the table saw. Now this is gonna be a mounting plate for a 40 to one gear reduction that I bought off of eBay. The next thing I needed to do was mount the plate to the gear reduction and I did that with a step bit over at the drill press. This is really handy because it drills the hole and the, and the countersink all in one fail swoop. And then I mounted it to the reduction system with some bolts and then modified a half inch rod to fit into the inside of the reduction system and cut the rod to length. Then I created a little groove in there so I could puddle up a weld that I'm going to use as a key for the reduction. And after I puddled up a weld, I just ground it to the shape I needed. And this key goes into the inside of the reduction system and keeps the rod from spinning freely in it. So with the drive shaft done, I drilled a hole on top of my bench and mounted the reduction system to it. And then drilled a hole on the side of the bench for the drive shaft to stick out. And I used a bearing on it to keep everything running nice and smooth. And then of course, gave it a quick test. The next step was to create a shaft for the reduction system itself that would turn a table on top of my workbench. Now I needed a key in it to make sure that the shaft doesn't spin inside of the reduction system and I used a piece of scrap metal to create a key and then tack welded it in place onto a rod that already had a 3 16 groove in it. Now in the same groove I welded on a larger key that will actually turn the turntable on top of my workbench and you'll see that here in a second. Now with the weld done, I cleaned it up with an angle grinder and then used it to mark out the location of the key in a large 32 inch diameter piece of MDF that I cut out. Now with that done, I just hammered it in place with no glue or anything. I just, I want that to kind of float in there and then put it into the reduction system. And gave it a spin. So with the turntable working great, I added a mounting system for the only corded drill I had in my shop, and then I created two slides that I'll use to make a router sled. With the sled done, I used some double-sided Velcro to control the speed so I can adjust it to make it either faster or slower with that. And then I put the router on top of the router sled and big chunk of oak on the table and started planing it out. I didn't get some good video of the bits that I use, so here's a picture. One's a half inch spiral bit and the other is a surfacing bit. So I'm really happy with the way this is working and using that surfacing bit made short work of surfacing this oak panel. Now obviously you could use a planer, but if you're doing an end grain cutting board or maybe you have a cutoff from a log that you want to make a seed out of, running it through the planer is going to cause a lot of chip out and this is a great alternative. I also tried the half inch bit for surfacing as well. Now it took a little bit longer. It wasn't as, as aggressive, so you didn't have to hold on to it as hard. And it left a little bit more in the way of marks that needed to be sanded out. But all in all, it worked pretty well. Now this is really just the first step in what I want to do with this turntable. I'm going to do a lot more in upcoming videos. Some of them are going to be pretty cool. So I wanted to play around with this system a little bit more just to kind of see how this could work out with just this really simple sled over the top of the turntable. And one of the things I did is dig out a large bowl in the center of it. And then I, of course you can cut out circles with this as well. And then I mounted the slide at a bit of an angle and created a taper going from the outside to the inside, creating kind of a weird edge on the bowl. And then of course you can always mount the material off axes and do some cool decorative work with it as well. Now I'm just getting started with this build and I have lots of really cool stuff planned for this turntable. So don't forget to check back. I want to say a huge thank you to FastCap for sponsoring today's video. Here's a few of the products I used in today's build from FastCap. And if you'd like to learn more about these or get them for yourselves, there will be links in the description box below. So thanks for watching today's video and don't forget to subscribe. And I want to give you another reason to subscribe to my channel. So I've been working behind the scenes to make something really cool 
available to you guys and that's a way to save money on tools and things that you already buy. In today's video I use two specialty router bits that are now available to you at 10% off and the way you can get those is go to the website article. There's a link there where you can get um, you can buy either of those bits at 10% off the retail price. And I'm going to do a lot more of that as we're going down the pipe and when I have enough of these things put together I'll put a recommended tools page up on the website with links to where you can go to purchase these all at discounted rates 10-15% off. Now I want to make it clear this isn't an affiliate program I'm not being sponsored for this I simply just am taking what I've done here and finding distributors and tool companies that I use all the time who are interested in offering discounts to my subscribers. So there's another good reason to subscribe gonna save you guys some money. I also want to mention that next weekend on February 20th Jimmy DeResta, Bob Claggett, Ben Heck, and the host of Everyday Edison's will be right here in Charleston for a, an event called Protocon. And it's kind of a maker, a product design conference. So we're going to sit on a panel and, and discuss product design. And then hopefully later on, uh, after the event, we'll have a meet and greet. Uh, we're still working on the details for that, but hopefully we'll be able to get together and shake everybody's hand. So if you have time or you're within a sh you know reasonable distance, come down and say hi to everybody. And um, I'll put links in the description box below to everything. Also, I just want to say thank you to you guys for watching this channel and it, helping it grow so much. It's been just a wild ride.